Hi, good afternoon and welcome to Cooking Uncovered. My name is Miriam and today I am putting together this delicious appetizer or salad or main course. It, it depends what you put in it. And today I am making spring rolls. We have, I have some prawns that I've already cooked and I've cut them in half. I have some, believe it or not, some roasted yams that I, were left over, so I'm going to put them in the spring rolls. I have some shredded carrots, some julienne carrots here, some cut up uh, green onions, which are going to taste delish in this, with these green ends that I'm going to keep for kind of garnish, cilantro, and I have my vermicelli rice noodles here. Now I wanted to show you the package. I've used actually half of this package, and you can get these now in every, any grocery store, and I have uh, boiled these for about a minute and a half to two minutes, no longer strain them, cool them down with cold water, and now I'm just going to add, just for a little zap, a little pinch, a little kicking it up a notch, just a drop or two of rice wine vinegar, and just toss that around a little bit, and that is going to just make all the difference in these spring rolls. It gives them a little zap, as I said before. Okay, so those are ready. Good. Now, I have here um, a bowl of water, right here, see the water? Now I'm just going to add a little bit more warm water to it. And the trick about spring rolls is you need to soak the spring roll, the um, rice paper that look like this, they're opaque, you see, you can, you can hardly see through them. And you soak them for five minutes, then you put them on your board and you let them rest before you start to fill them with whatever. So today, I'm going to use the prawns. Now, where are my prawns? They are lost. Just a second, I need to get my prawns. Out of the fridge, of course. And um, then we can, then we can proceed. Sorry, they, I wanted to, I cooked them earlier, but I want them to be cold because this is going to be used as an appetizer, so I do want them cold. So all I've done is I've taken my prawns or my shrimp, whatever it is, like this, I've, I've cooked them right, both sides, not very long, and then cut them in half. And this part, the pink part, goes face down when you're doing your wrap. So let's get started, shall we? So that is this I have ruined. Ignore this part, please. This you can't use now. I completely forgot about it. Take, it, <laughs> take another wrap. So this happens all the time. Don't worry about it, just move on. Take your wrap, you leave it in for five seconds. 1,003, 1,004. 1005 and it's not really soft yet but what happens is that when you lay it on your board and you let it sit for 30 seconds it gets to the right consistency and that's what you want see my onions the green part of my onions I'm actually going to cut those in half because I'm going to use them kind of as a garnish all right so is that 30 seconds yet it's getting there see how nice and pliable it's becoming so the first thing you want to do is lay your prawns pink side down. So I'm going to, let's say, use three prawns or two, doesn't matter, three. Now you're taking about half a cup of your um, rice noodles. So I just, really, I just, I break them off into a little ball. So rice noodles, down they go. Now what do I want to add? Do I want to add some uh, prawns? Uh, no, no, prawns are down. Do I want to add a few um, yams? Yes, I do. They go down. A few a little bit of springling of onion, just a few, uh, like a tablespoon. Some cilantro, down goes the cilantro, delicious. And now you can also add things like fresh dill, fresh basil, lettuce, it's up to you. Whatever you want to add here, you can add. So I'm going to start rolling this and tucking the cilantro in. Now I tuck the sides in. And this is absolutely perfect, this wrap. The perfect consistency, the perfect, um, the perfect uh, weight. Or Now I'm gonna take one of my onion rings, my onion uh, slices, and I'm gonna put those in here, and then just continue to roll it up. And this is what it ends up looking like. I you like that? It looks pretty good, huh? And that goes onto my plate. So here's my plate. I'm just gonna pop it on my plate. Now, the trick also about these is you don't want to eat these right away. They have to rest a bit in the fridge. So I'm just going to pop one, another wrap in, count for five. Give me a second, I've got to get the lettuce. Here's the 
here's my lettuce, the spring mix, all ready to go. So let's make this one with some lettuce. I think that'll look really good. So, five seconds. Rest it on your board, and now you're going to decide what you're going to have on it. So prawns again. Yep, prawns. Also, chicken works very well. I haven't actually used beef in these, but I do know that the, the chicken works very well. I made that the other night for uh, Carl for dinner. So you're just going to cut off a little bit, like a half a cup of your rice vermicelli noodles. And then again, you put on, I've got a cloth here to keep my hands clean, what it, whatever it is you want to add. So I'm going to add yams, a few, about a tablespoon of green onions. How about some carrots? They taste delicious. So some julienne carrots, which is perfect. And some lettuce leaves just to give it some color on the outside. The old, so I'm gonna give it some color. So there we go, I'm gonna roll that up. Now if you wanted to put sauce in here, you could put sauce in too, but this, is, this works very well. Fold up the sides, do you see how I'm doing that? I'm folding up the sides. Start to roll, and then I'm going to add a stick of green onion just as a garnish. And now you see I have the beautiful lettuce showing through as well as the prawns. So that's how you make spring rolls. It's so easy, but don't get discouraged if you end up with a piece of um, your wrap looking like this because you've forgotten it in the water too, too long. Just discard it and keep going. And the beauty is you can make, you can put anything into the middle of these. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to show you a great dipping sauce. This is one tablespoon of one, no, one teaspoon of, of uh, peanut butter. To that, I'm going to add about a half a cup of hoisin sauce. Now, this peanut butter has been sitting out, so now I'm able to just stir this around, and now I have a peanut hoisin sauce, which is absolutely delightful. Let's throw in a, little, a few uh, sprinks of uh, green onion. You could add a, a few drops of fish sauce too. Now I've got this beautiful peanut hoisin sauce, which is absolutely delicious with these rolls. So the way I would serve this is, I'll just put that over there. So here's my beautiful spring rolls, which I'm gonna now put in the fridge. Here's my sauce, and that's a great way to present it to your friends, and these are absolutely delicious. And they're gluten-free because, of course, it's rice, not uh, made with flour. So uh, thank you for joining me on Cooking Uncovered, and have a great day, and happy spring roll making. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.